And as promised, it's yes. time again to stump our movie critic, Jim Hunter, or at least we're going to try. There's Jim. Jim, there you are. Now, to today, the theme is back to school, since we're back to school. So right. all of our questions will be referencing movies that feature school settings. That said, okay. are you ready? I will see. I mean, <laughs> we'll see. You know, I'll see what I can About do. As ready as you can be in three seconds after finding right. out the topic, right? Right, right. So now you've had time to kind of sit in it a minute, and we'll let Ron roll. All right. First question, Jim. And this is, you're going to nail this one. I've got a, absolutely no doubt. Three Academy Award winning actors, Nicolas Cage, Sean Penn, and Forrest Whitaker, starred in this high school movie back in 1982 at the beginning of their careers. What was the name of this high school movie? Fast Times at Ridgemont High. You got it. Boom. That's I one for it. the movie credit. See, none right. of them won Academy Awards for that movie, though. <laughs> <laughs> Although it was a really no. good movie. Although it's a good movie. Like, it's, it's yeah. solid. Jennifer Jason Lee and, and uh, Judge Reinhold and obviously Phoebe Cates as well. well that's, yeah, so, that was yeah. a star-studded yeah. cast before they were stars, right? No doubt. All right, get ready, Jim. Here we go. This is from the, the mind of our man, John Fisher, behind the camera. What was the name of the high school in The Breakfast Club? Oh, I, Ridgemont High is really in my head now. <laughs> no, I guess I shouldn't have asked that question Ridgemont. first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really I did not know the answer to this. So, do you know? I didn't either. I've seen The Breakfast Club. I've seen it. I've seen it a couple times too. Uh, no, I don't know. What's the? I, I could Google it. You but could, no. but it's, don't. It's, but it's Shermer High. Shermer. Shermer. S H E R M E R. In case that ever comes up in conversation again. Okay. At next. All right, conference. Jim. All right. Here comes another softball. All right, you ready for a little softball question? More renowned as Indiana Jones and Han Solo, Harrison Ford had his first major film role in this 1973 film directed by George Lucas. Name that film. That is American Graffiti. Woohoo! Yes. It's one of my favorites. That's one of my favorites. All right, yeah. here we go. Good job. Now back to the Breakfast Club. Judd Nelson's character in that movie gave his name to another character from an animated TV series. Do you know what that was? Gave his name his, to his character. Uh, so name, this was yes. came out afterwards. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I all of this Breakfast Club trivia. I guess it's not the uh, not the <laughs> not so, the movie for me. What's not what, in your uh, real what house? Is that? That's <laughs> interesting. Futurama. Futurama. Oh, was Futurama. The show. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, I had no idea. I'm just talking about things I have no idea about. <laughs> All right, uh, Jim. Here is a non-breakfast club question for you. <laughs> I like non-breakfast club questions. Hey, you're two for two on my questions. That's right. Let's make it three for three. Although Cher Cher didn't star in this high school comedy in 1995, Alicia Silverstone's character was named Cher in this movie. Name that movie. Uh, it's one of my favorite high school movies. It is Clueless. Yes. Oh, right. uh, it is it. Paul based Rudd's on a Jane Austen too. novel, oddly enough. It was, say again, Jim. It's based on a Jane Austen novel. It's based on Emma, uh, which recently there was another adaptation of that came out. That came out. And uh, it appears Ron is going with all Haim Amy Heckerling movies because <laughs> those past <laughs> times. <laughs> because he knew and that. Yes. Uh, no, I knew Amy Heckerling did uh, Fast Times. I did not know she was behind Clueless, too. And I know she wasn't behind American Graffiti. That was before her time. That's George Lucas there. But, yeah. All right. This might be a softball for you, too, though. What was the make and model of Cameron's dad's car in Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Oh, that's a Ferrari. That's a red Ferrari. I don't know, like, any... That's enough. <laughs> that, believe it's, me, that's good enough to yeah. know But, of that. course, it was a 250 GT California, so... But it's a Ferrari. Oh, oh. There I mean, go. who doesn't know that? Uh, uh, clearly the three of us, but John Fisher knew <laughs> well, it. Well, I knew so. it was a Ferrari, too, but I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have gotten... You know, I knew the make. I didn't know the model or anything like that. Uh, do, do you know, like, the ID number, too, that was on there? The VIN number. If you know the VIN number, then you really got something, You're really right? into it there. Yeah. Right. License what plate band? Is appears in the cult classic rock and roll high school, really famous back in the 70s. They all Wait, had the same last name, but uh, they weren't related. How's that? What, what's the question again? I'm sorry. Okay. What band appears in the cult classic movie Rock and Roll High School, and they appear in it? Wow. Uh, no, the I don't know. I'm punk sorry. Band. What's it? What is it? A renowned punk rock band. 
Hmm. A renowned punk rock band. The Ramones? Yes, the Ramones. Oh, my God. Well done. Well done, Jim. Very good. Well, this is another uh, girl movie. Which high school movie recently adapted to a Broadway musical and had starred Lindsay Lohan? Oh, that's Mean Girls. Very good. Uh, Look at Jim. Oh, no, man, Jim. Good job, Jim. Well, we have, we have, we have, uh, what, half and half? I have and have. I think Jim got about three-fourths of it. I mean, we, we uh, pried out Ramones. That, that counts. That's a win. That's right you there. You bet. It's a win. It's always a win when we have you on the show, Jim. Thanks so much for being a good sport. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Andy. Talk to you soon. We'll be back with more Lifestyles right after this.